everybody, Barbara Draski here. I had a couple people reach out to me asking about an email I sent today about funnels and what they meant for Amazon sellers. So I thought for us visual people it would be helpful if I did a little chart here. I, I like getting my colored markers out and uh, um, to visualize things that I'm implementing in my business. So I wanted to share this with you. This is how I implement funnels as someone who sells on Amazon in order to control more of the experience for the customer. Now, this is Amazon over here, right? So Amazon is its own kind of ecosystem. They control the customer and the fulfillment, right? So you can't gather contact information. It's against Amazon's terms of service to go scraping through your orders to get contact information for customer, their customers that have bought something from you off of Amazon. Uh, and the other thing that you can do is you can buy pay-per-click ads to move more of Amazon's customers to your listing. But again, they're Amazon's customers. So the most you can hope for is more sales on those listings, which is great. But again, you're not controlling the customer environment. So there is a way to control the customer environment and I think make more sales and launch a product completely within Amazon's terms of service and it's by the use of funnels. Now you guys have probably seen that there's a special offer going on right now with Groove Pages. Uh, and if you go to GroovePagesDiva.com, I've got two really big bonuses for you guys to help you implement uh, your own websites, niche websites, and your own funnels in your Amazon business. So here's how I do it. So this is one traffic source, the traffic that's already on Amazon. If you don't own that, you don't control that traffic at all. You can control a little bit through ads, but that's about it. So you can drive traffic from off Amazon, everywhere from Facebook, Google, ad networks, YouTube, Pinterest, Etsy, other places, like anywhere you can think to buy ads through influencers, Instagram, right? And you can push your own traffic, but instead of pushing that traffic to your listing on Amazon, it's the same, you're having the same problem with the control of the customer. So you're just shoving traffic onto your Amazon listing and then if they buy, you still don't have their contact information. So the most you can hope for is a sale. And the second thing you can hope for is hopefully a great review from the, the person that you pushed from your traffic on Amazon. Well, there's another way to do it. Push that traffic instead into what we call a funnel. So I will put, and you guys know that I'm really big into niches. So let's just choose a niche. And I chose dogs with allergies. I don't know. I just was thinking about it. I don't have a dog, but... Dogs that have allergies is an issue, right? So what we do is we create niche pages around this topic, dogs with allergies, in, in wherever we want to, or we find influencers, wherever we want to drive traffic from. And then instead of sending people over to our doggy biscuits, our keto doggy biscuits or whatever over on Amazon, we're gonna send them to a website that we put up. We're gonna send them here instead. Now what that allows us to do is first capture their contact information by offering them something of value. So we can put together like a once a month or twice a month little newsletter on tips and tricks for keeping your dog healthy if they have allergies, etc., for supplements, whatever. So you want to gather their email first and now you own that, you've got that email uh, um, for that customer. So you can do so many different things with it now. So the next thing you can do, you can send them down a funnel, that's a survey. So you can gather more information about what exactly is of interest to them. Do they have a big dog, a small dog, an old dog, a young dog? What kind of allergies does a dog have? What are their specific problems? So you can send them to a survey that helps you develop new products if you're private label, create bundles if you're wholesaler RA or private label, and also go after wholesale suppliers that have products that your customers are telling you that they really need and want, but they can't find anywhere, or uh, maybe it's not produced yet, you can white label, whatever. The other thing that happens, you can take, you can take this track, and now you're also gonna send them a welcome email. Say, hey, so glad to have you on board. Uh, we love to provide content and information and in our newsletter once a month, look for it, be sure to whitelist it, open it up, and by the way, here's a free article for you, right? Or here's a, a thank you for joining us, 10% off coupon for either your product, goes over here, or here's what else we could do, send it somewhere else to an affiliate product, either an Amazon affiliate link or somebody, somebody's website that they have a product for dogs uh, with allergies that you can resell or just offer for free um, to these people. The next email is gonna be like on education. What, what basically doing it this way, in a nutshell, what it allows us to do 
is to develop a relationship with this customer. Okay, you want to develop a relationship with the customer that, I'm sorry, not with the customer, with the lead because it's a prospect now. So you drive the traffic, you control this traffic as much as you can, you control the relationship, you control the communication before they ever get to Amazon. So you can use this as an opportunity to really um, connect with customers and find out what's important to them, warm them up. Because think about it, people who show up on your listing just from Amazon, they might not be ready to buy, they are searching for your stuff because they're finding it, but maybe they're also looking at 50 other listings and they're not quite sure what they want. And Amazon is feeding up a bunch of ads on your listing page. And people who bought this also bought. And sponsored links here and sponsored ads up here, oh my. You have so much more competition on here. Where here, you own this environment. You own the, um, the experience. So when you put this, this in between, this building of experience, your funnel, okay, you're funneling in here. When you put traffic into your funnel, and then onto Amazon, you control the experience, you have a potential higher profit potential, you're building an email list, which is key when you're growing a business because it increases the value of your business and you can do so much more with it. Uh, and then you can drive traffic to Amazon when you're ready onto your listings or affiliate listings or whatever. So this is, uh, it, got, it kind of, got kind of messy when I started drawing all this stuff because the blue was the only one that would show up on the video really well. But this is why we put a funnel in between the traffic and our Amazon listings so that we have control, more control over the sales process. And that, in a nutshell, is how I use funnels with my Amazon business. I hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later. Oh, by the way, go to GroovePagesDiva.com before Sunday night. Sunday night, the 16th of June. Uh, it is unlimited funnels, unlimited web pages, unlimited everything, six months of Groove uh, cart for free, added in there, all for $4.97 one-time payment, I almost said a year, it's a one-time payment. So there are a lot of other funnel softwares out there that you'll pay $297 a month. Yeah, $3,600 bucks, 36, yeah, $3, a year, a year, to set up a limited amount or sometimes an unlimited amount of funnels, but $3,600 bucks a year as opposed to $500 one-time fee because they're launching group pages right now. Once they finish launching it, it goes to $2,400 a year. So I, I highly recommend to, to use funnels and unlimited um, niche website pages to lock it in now before Sunday night. Go to GroovePagesDiva.com. That's GroovePagesDiva.com. That is my affiliate link, and I'm going to give you a couple of really awesome bonuses as well. I'm going to give you an email sequence that you can send to brand owners to let them know that, uh, hey, you are a, a niche expert if they're selling doggy biscuits or doggies with allergies. You are much more likely to lock down that account because you have a web page now and followers of uh, people with or dogs with allergies. So go ahead and, oh, and the other one is I'm doing a live workshop called Nicheify Me. So a lot of people say, well, great, Barbara, that's awesome, but I don't know what niches to sell in. So I'm holding a workshop in July. I'm adding it as a bonus for free for you guys. It's 197, I'm selling it everybody else. Uh, and that is about how to identify and validate niche markets to go after and build your Amazon business around and your e-commerce business around. I hope this has been helpful for you. My name is Barbara Drazga, a.k.a. The Deal Diva. Go to GroovePagesDiva.com, and I will see you in GroovePages. Talk to you guys soon.